Hi everyone, Happy New Year. I'm Denise and this is my beautiful, handsome Yogi. This video is going to be about my favorite movies of 2023. And I should mention, just so no one gets confused, um, the movies I'm going to mention uh, did not come out in like 2023. They're like really old school movies. I always see how people say, oh yeah, here's my favorite movies of 2023. And the movies came out in 2023. Um, but yeah, that's not this type of video. Um, I haven't been to the movie theaters since May of 2019. And that was to see John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Um, and of course, there was a few movies that I wanted to see in the movie theaters last year. But it was like very few. And I, and I just told myself, you know what? I'll wait until it comes out on DVD so I can see it in the privacy of my own home. Starting off at number one is the movie The First Wives Club. And this movie came out in 1996. I wrote something in um, this little notebook that I have. And I said, this movie has a mix of it all. Laughs, tears, anger, confusions, and... Confusions? <laughs> Confusion and are you kidding me moment. The cast is exceptional, marvelous, magnificent, and absolutely fabulous, which is true. The fashion in this movie, oh my god, so beautiful. And I also wrote, I must say, when Diane Keaton screams or yells, it always surprises me how strong it is. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like so unique, and I never would have expected such a um, a strong scream to come from her. There are so many fantastic quotes in this movie, but one quote that caught me completely off guard was, don't get mad, get everything, which is towards the end of the film. And I'm not gonna lie, this was my reaction when I when I first heard it. I was like, oh! and then I thought to myself, oh my God, that is, that is genius. I said, oh man, like, it just blew me away. It just blew my mind. I, I could not believe it. <laughs> and then my reaction made me laugh because Oh, I never would have uh, expect, expected something like that to make me go but Anyway, this movie is absolutely fantastic It is so good I've, I always crave to see it every once in a while Because it's just such a beautiful film It's a great movie about friendship And, and helping each other out do, during difficult times And of course in the beginning there's um, a sad moment So trigger warning Moving on to number two This one is a... Uh, is a film collection it has one through four so this is basically like four different recommendations um it's police academy one through four police academy the first one police academy two the first assignment police academy three back in training police academy four citizens on patrol and i'm not going to lie i've always known about police academy ever since it, at a young age but i've only seen very few um, clips of it like or if I'm walking by like a TV I, I've only seen a very few seconds of it the first time I saw one through four was back in 2022 but then in 2023 I started watching them more one through four so whenever I wanted to have like a comedy day filled like with funny movies I would choose police academy so that way I can watch one through four um, and these movies are absolutely hilarious and I did not know that there's like three more that came out. I think there was also like a like a cartoon show or a TV show that came out about Police Academy. And there's an eighth one in production. How crazy is that? Um, I don't know how they're going to do it or pull it off because sadly a lot of the original cast members sadly passed away. I just hope that they choose a fantastic cast because the original cannot be replaced. The original cannot be duplicate it. it I don't even know what else to say I mean like I said I hope they choose a fantastic funny cast and that the new cast members don't try too hard to be funny or to copy cat or, or copy um, the original characters from the original films to be honest so moving on to number three this movie is absolutely hilarious and I cannot believe I was 23 years old when I first saw this movie back in December of 2022 and I saw it a bunch of times in 2023. This movie is Nothing to Lose with Tim Robbins and Martin Lawrence. I don't know who who thought of the idea to put a, to put these two guys together, 
but they are so funny. I don't even know where to begin with nothing to lose. I mean, this movie is hilarious. It, it has a special place in my heart, in my soul. And I just cannot believe that it took me 23 years to see this movie. I, hold on, I wrote something in my, in my notes. I said, who would have thought putting Tim Robbins and Martin Lawrence together would be comedic genius? I don't know why, or I don't understand why uh, this movie isn't more popular. I don't know why I was 23 when I first saw it, like I said. But, oh my god, this movie is so funny. There's this one scene where Tim Robbins' character, Nick Beam. Okay, so uh, Martin Lawrence' character name is, like, pretty long. So it's Terrence Paul Davidson. Sorry, I, I did not recall. I knew it was Terrence, but I didn't remember, like, the middle name and last name. But... Uh, Tim Robbins character Nick and Martin Lawrence character uh, Terrence they were fighting and my favorite part ever is when is when Nick goes like this he goes hoo, 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 and he elbows um Martin like in the well his character Terrence in the in the forehead that freaking part I remember I was sitting on the right side of this couch and I started laughing so loud. I was not expecting that. So God forbid if I ever get into a fight, I'm going to go <laughs> and then elbow somebody in the forehead. Or I guess if they're taller than me, I guess like in the chest or something. But oh my God, that part just freaking made me laugh. I, I had to pa I had to rewind it, honestly. Pause it to use the bathroom because I almost pee myself. And then come back and rewatch it like five times because it was just so freaking funny. There's also another scene, just thinking about it makes me laugh. There's also another scene where um, Nick and Terrence uh, rob some store and this poor old guy, <laughs> Henry, is at the, at the cash register and, and Terrence, uh, who's played by Martin Lawrence, um, starts cursing at him and there ends to like um, blow his butt off um, and the old guy's like, okay, <laughs> like he's just so scared and it was so funny that whole scene absolutely hilarious but please if you have haven't seen nothing to lose or if you never heard of it please watch it i promise you won't regret it so nothing to lose came out in 1997 and i don't know if people will still think it's funny today but i honestly think this movie is hilarious I, i'm surprised that not many people are talking about it that uh, that a lot of people people aren't making memes about like certain scenes in this movie absolutely fantastic this movie sorry i'm trying to show you martin lawrence and tim robbins so freaking funny together and if you guys watched you know the police academy one two three or four or um even the first wives club i hope you enjoy them all so i think that's it for today's video um i'm definitely definitely going to make a part two or even three um, to this video because I wrote down a lot of films that I absolutely rewatched a lot during 2023. Yogi and I want to say thank you so much for watching our video. If you made it this far, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys can comment if you rewatched like a certain movie or a certain TV show over and over again during uh, 2023. Or if you went to the movie theaters in 2023 and you guys just absolutely, absolutely loved a new film that came out. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I hope your new year is awesome and it continues to be awesome. Please stay safe out there. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>